Good morning. Welcome to the Boise Unitarian Universalist Fellowship, a community gathered to nurture spiritual growth, real connection, and faithful action for a better world. Our minister, Sarah Lawal, is on sabbatical. I'm Gwen Reed, the celebrant for today's service. And I'm also grateful to the other behind the scenes collaborators on this service, Nancy Harms, the program ministry specialist, our ushers both online and in person, and Mike Lemieux, our audio visual coordinator. Welcome to those joining us virtually. I invite folks in here to turn around and wave to those cameras over there. We're so glad you're out there. And welcome to all of you joining us in person. Welcome to longtime friends and visitors, young and old. Whether today is your first Sunday or you've been attending Booth worship services for many years, we're glad you're here. All who join us in the spirit of curiosity, love, and justice are welcome this morning. Whoever you are, whomever you love, whatever your life's journey, your presence is a blessing. We are all growing, all learning, all loved. You are welcome here, just as you are. In the spirit of our mission to build a beloved community centered on justice, equity, and compassion, and inter interconnection, let us take a moment to acknowledge our gathering on native land. As we gather together, we acknowledge that the land upon which our church and homes exist is the ancestral land stolen from the people of the Shoshone Bannock, the Shoshone Paiute, Coeur d'Alene, Kootenai, and Nez Perce nations, along with many other tribes whose names have been lost in history. We acknowledge that our presence here today is founded upon the exclusions and erasures of many indigenous peoples. With this acknowledgement, we wish to demonstrate our ongoing commitment to the work of dismantling the legacies of settler colonialism. We honor indigenous people's connection to the land and support their right to sovereignty. I want to take a moment to welcome those newcomers among us. We know it takes a lot of courage to check out a new community, and we're so glad you've joined us today. And for newcomers joining us online, we invite you to introduce yourself in the chat so our community can warmly welcome you. We'll also share a link to our newcomer form in the chat. Please complete the form and submit it so we can keep you up to date with all that is happening in our fellowship. And for those newcomers joining us in person, I hope that if you haven't already, you pick up one of those bookmarks in either of the side vestibules. Um, they have uh, QR links to a number of the key areas of our website, including our newcomer form. Because of our extended service time today, our hospitality crew has advised that we won't offer coffee or tea service this morning. But if you haven't already, I invite you to take a peek at our new coffee area off the north vestibule. It will be back in operation next week for to go coffee or tea. And be sure to take a walk through the grounds after the service, talk with folks, um, and the courtyard is a nice place to gather for that. We have a lot happening from book groups to adult classes to meditation to neighborhood pods, both in person and online. 
have one announcement. Our racial justice ministry team is offering a free field trip to the Four Rivers Cultural Center and Museum in Ontario, Oregon on Saturday, July 9th. The museum presents the history of varied communities that comprise the multicultural Western Treasure Valley, the Northern Paiute, Basque, Japanese, Hispanic, and Euro-Americans, among others. Registration is required. You can link to more information on the calendar on our website. It is our practice here at the fellowship to donate 25% of our unpledged Sunday offering to support our social justice ministries. For the month of June, our offering partner is the Women's and Children's Alliance. The WCA has been at the forefront of providing services to women, men, and their children healing from domestic abuse and sexual assault. The WCA is a community leader in providing these critically needed services. To participate in today's offering, you can visit our website at voiceuu.org and click Give at the top right corner of your screen. For those in person, you can drop your check or cash gift in our lock boxes located at each side entrance to the sanctuary. You can also download the Vanco giving app on your smartphone, and your checks by mail are always welcome. Our spiritual theme for the month of June is celebrating blessings. And today we are especially blessed to be joining a live stream of the Sunday worship service of the UUA General Assembly. General Assembly, or GA as it's called, is the annual meeting of our Unitarian Universalist Association, or UUA. Participants from Unitarian and Unitarian Universalist congregations all over the US and the world worship, witness, learn, connect, and make policy for the association through democratic processes. This year, the General Assembly is in Portland, Oregon, and it is fortunate that several uh, from our congregation, including many of our youth, are able to attend either as delegates or as regular participants. Jem Emerson Page, our Director of Fam Family Ministries, is also attending GA, and I know many of our Booth cohort will be attending today's worship service in person. The Sunday service of General Assembly is the largest annual gathering of UUs joining in worship. We are pleased to join for a morning of celebration, witness, and future visioning for the local Unitarian Universalist Church. The UUA General Assembly Sunday worship service will begin at 10.30 our time. For those of you joining online, we ask that you find the link to the service posted in the chat and join that way. Nancy will keep this Zoom connection open for a few minutes beyond 1030 to help any of you who may have difficulty joining. As we enter into this time of worship, let us take a moment to center ourselves. Let yourself become fully present in your body and in this space. Set aside your duties and concerns for just this time and let us take a breath together. Just breathe knowing that your breath connects you to your spiritual center, to each other, and to the planet. As I read this familiar poem, I invite you to imagine that the thous and thines are a blessing to our own congregation and others in our religious movement whose work is so important 
especially in these times. Thou art the song of my heart in the morning. Thou art the dawn of truth in my soul. Thou art the dew of the roses adorning. Thou art the woven whole. Thine is the grace to be steadfast in danger. Thine is the peace that none can destroy. Thine is the face of the need-riven stranger. Thine are the wings of joy. Thou art the deep, to the deep in me calling. Thou art a lamp that lights where I tread. Thy way is steep past the peril of falling. Thou art my daily bread. Thine be the praise of my spirit uplifted. Thou art the sea to each flowing stream. Thine be the days that are gathered and sifted. Thou art the deathless dream. I breathe in the 
sadness of a hurting world, I breathe it down, down into the fire of my heart, where the flames of compassion consume and transform all the sadness into joy. I breathe out joy, I breathe out joy. Thank you, Mike. Each week we light our flaming chalice, a symbol of our free faith, a beacon of hope, love, and justice. We join in this lighting in solidarity and community with thousands of other Unitarian Universalists lighting chalices today in churches homes and in virtual worship spaces, and today at the General Assembly, reminding us that we are connected to one another and to a larger community of faith and love. As we light the chalice here in the sanctuary, for those joining us on Zoom, if you have a chalice nearby, I invite you to light it with us this morning then share in the chat where you have lit your chalice. With our collective chalices lit in all our spaces, we offer you this call to worship from Reverend Eric Cherry. Guided by love, secured by hope, and made courageous by faith, we gather together at a moment of beginning, both learning and teaching, welcoming the injured and the healing, Ever justice seeking, we bless this church with our love. With pilgrims and seekers, growing children and cherished seniors, guided by pillars and by leaders, we bless this church with our hope. Praying and resolving, trusting and involving, some settled, some evolving, we bless this church with our faith. Let us receive our ingathering as a gift, made inspire renewed commitment to our great covenant of love, hope, and faith. 
May our eyes be opened to opportunities for broad ministry within, throughout, and beyond. And may the blessings we come to know through that vision be a blessing to the world. Come, let us worship together. Although our booth time for all ages will not be included in today's service, we invite you to join us in singing our community blessing, which reminds us that we are part of a multi-generational, ever-growing, ever-loving community. Each week we take time to acknowledge the joys among us and to grieve our community's sorrows and losses so that we might lift that burden for each other and receive the blessing of this community. A reminder that you can submit your joys and sorrows online each week through the link on our website. Our virtual community will continue to share joys and sorrows in the chat. It is through this sharing with one another that we forge deep bonds of community and connection. I have one joy to share with the community. On June 17th, Lee and Nancy Sopwith celebrated their 55th wedding anniversary and will be able to extend their celebration with visits from their daughter and son and their families. Congratulations, Nancy and Lee. That is quite an achievement. Also, I'd like to acknowledge the chancel flowers this morning. They're from Mitchell Bethel's memorial service yesterday afternoon. I also want to acknowledge that many of us are feeling an immense sense of anger and loss from this week's US Supreme Court decisions. Know that it will take time to turn this outrage into action. It is important now to make space for grief and for centering and supporting those most impacted by these decisions. If you are holding someone in your heart this morning, I invite you to speak their name aloud into this community of love so that we may hold them with you May the arms of this community hold all our joys and sorrows, those named and those that remain silent close to our hearts. May we feel the grace that surrounds us and be transformed by the spirit of life and love with warmth to celebrate our joys and with gentleness to soothe our aching hearts. And now, through the blessing of a wideband connection and the hard work and dedication of our UU siblings, our community can join the Sunday service of the UUA General Assembly. And for those of you on Zoom, our service is now coming to an end, the booth service. So please find the link to the General Assembly service in the Zoom chat. The service is scheduled to start 
at 1030. So those of you gathered with us in person, take advantage of this time to turn and say hello to others who are joining us today.